Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel for another year, 2019. It's a new year, new gear, new sounds, new everything. So happy new year to each and every one of you guys. Although it didn't really start off as a happy new year for me this year. And I'm gonna tell you why. So you probably saw the thumbnail or read the description and yeah, it's true. I lost everything. <laughs> I did one of the dumbest things that I had done all 2018. So I started a Beatmaker 3 and I started to go through some of my sound patches and some of my uh, drum kits and everything like that. And I'm setting up banks to go ahead and start a new track. And after I set up a couple banks and set up a couple sounds for myself to go ahead and start a new track and go ahead and get rolling, I tried to connect my Bluetooth MIDI keyboard and it was not connecting. So I restarted the app, I shut the Bluetooth keyboard off and on, I deleted it from the Bluetooth list, I reset my I reset my MIDI settings. I really tried everything and I'm thinking like why is Beatmaker 3 doing this to me? So I was thinking maybe it's Beatmaker 3. Maybe they maybe they did an update. Go in the app store and I don't see an update. So I proceed to try to figure out what in the world is going on with my Bluetooth MIDI keyboard. I hope it's not the keyboard. I plugged it up and I, I, I connected to a different device and it was working with that device and you know a few of my other devices so it's not the keyboard i even rebooted the ipad like twice so the last thing that i tried you guessed it i deleted beatmaker 3 not to get rid of it but i deleted it so that i can reinstall it again so that it could reset whatever the hell happened little did i know that it would literally reset everything because i had not been backing up my files inside of icloud I know, I know, I know. So since I didn't update my files inside of iCloud, I lost everything. All my presets, gone. All my drum banks, gone. Even all my session files, gone. And I have been going three months without backing up to iCloud. Oh, it gets worse, watch. So I re-downloaded Beatmaker 3, installed it back, and I booted it up for the first time, realized everything was gone, realized that I did not back up anything to iCloud or nothing. So I'm like, all right, cool, I still have all my, all my applications in here, they still work. Let me just go ahead and cook up something real quick and then I'll just worry about the other files later. So I tried to reconnect my Bluetooth MIDI keyboard again and it's still not working. Bruh, after all that fumbling around, I looked into my iPad settings. Yo, and my Bluetooth button was turned off. Lord. All it is for nothing? So yes, I have to start all over, redesigning all my sounds, redesigning, reprogramming all my presets, and rebuilding my drum kits. And I started to think, like, why would this happen at the end of the year? Why me? Like, what in the world? So lately, I've been spending a lot of time getting everything back to the way I needed it. But it actually ended up turning out to be a good thing. Because now I get to show you guys my whole process all over again. All my presets, all my drum banks, um, organizing my files, as well as staying on top of ways to back up my files. In all this chaos and losing all of my files and having to start all over, I ended up importing everything back into my iPad. And this time it seems to be a little bit more organized, a little bit less chaotic. And that's actually something that I've been meaning to do all year, but I just been putting it off saying that I would get to it. So today I'll show you guys how I imported my audio files and my drum files into Beatmaker 3 so that they show up in the right spot so that you can easily access them and they're easily searchable inside of Beatmaker 3 to speed up your workflow. All right, so when I go into my samples folder here at the top, you can see that I have all my drum kits that I've already imported in here and they show up in the samples directory. Um, not in the actual folder part of it because usually what I used to have to do was go into the folders Go into imports and then go into the whatever folder that I imported and then I, I will search through Tons of folders like that, but 
the way that I did it this time, um, sent all every individual uh, sound sample into uh, my database in Beatmaker 3 so that I can now, they are now uh, searchable um, in Beatmaker 3. So I can now type in kicks, everything with the kick in its name will show up in my search in my library. And how I did that actually is I went to my laptop. I already have some uh, sound kits in here that I that I already own. I took the sound kit that I wanted to import and I compressed it. I compress it so that I can airdrop it over to my iPad and um, I can open it up directly into Beatmaker 3, right? So, so when you don't compress these files, what happens is it'll do that thing that I was talking about earlier where it goes into the import import folder, but you can't search them by typing. You can't search them by name or by type by typing them into that search area in the samples directory of Beatmaker 3. So compressing them and then sending them over to your iPad lets Beatmaker 3 sort through them and then put them where they should be individually by name and source it through the whole database for Beatmaker 3. And when I say compress them, I mean like putting them in a zip file. So it doesn't matter how big the file is or how many drum loops you have or drum kits or sound drum kits or sound libraries that you have it can be one folder 10 folders whatever make them in a zip file and then you can send them over airdrop them or send them over to your ipad however you're going to do that and then open it up in beatmaker 3. so we have some drum kits by henny the business these are some dope drums you should go check them out i'll put a link to his uh, channel down in this description as well as his website where he sells his sound kits and stuff like that so yeah go check that out so now that we have that in a compressed zip file what we're going to do is hit our share button and then we're going to airdrop it to ourselves open up the ipad our ipad shows up on the laptop send it to the ipad wait for that to come up so that came up like that and you'll see that it gives you an option to send it to multiple uh, external apps on your iPad. So what we're going to do is open it up directly into Beatmaker 3. And what Beatmaker 3 will do automatically, it opens that uh, zip file and it starts to import all those files individually into the Beatmaker 3, into the Beatmaker 3 database. So you select OK and it starts to import all the files and sort them inside of your file directory into Beatmaker 3. So now all those drum kits, all those sounds become available to you in search. So now we, we can go to our samples and I can type in Henny and it shows me everything that has the name Henny in it. that gets you on your way with being organized with all your files and your drum loops and your um, and your vocal samples your kits from splice or wherever you're getting your kits that is how you import them properly into Beatmaker 3 so now we'll be going over some ways to organize your files as well as uh, backing up storage as well as some external storage solutions too because you guys have been showing a lot of interest in external storage solutions for the iPad so if this was helpful to anybody please go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know. Some of y'all probably already knew this already. Some did not. This is a good way to start new and fresh for the new year and stay on top of your organization for your app. And like I said, I'll be going over some more apps in iOS to start staying on top of your song files and your audio files and stuff like that. We're going to be exploring the folders and file types and how to store them inside of um, the iPad. So if that sounds like something you're interested in too, along with some more Beatmaker 3 tutorials, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. This has been Brandon Rico. This has been a hell of a start for 2019, but we doing it. Glad to have you guys along for the ride. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. And I will be back soon with another Beatmaker 3 tutorial, as well as some ways to stay on top of your files and organization. Stay inspired. Happy New Year to you. Peace out.